Now to Nancy's summer party crasher, the speaker calling her members back to work next week at state. A $26 billion emergency state aid package in which she says over 100,000 teachers jobs at a minimum could be at stake. Francis Newton says that Congress is just digging us into an even deep, deeper hole. Joining Francis is Jonathan Honig and Christopher Hahn. All right, um, Francis, what do you make of this, how far this goes? Well, I think that we could be throwing more good money after bad. I mean, the real problem is, is that we've got $3.1 trillion in unfunded liabilities uh, for pensions, and I think we could take a look there and cut some costs. We've also got $28.7 billion in payment errors for Medicaid. And so instead of throwing this 26 uh, you know, billion out there that we, you know, where does it stop? I think we can find some cost-saving mechanisms within the systems. Well, Chris, right now they're not finding them, right? I mean, I mean, this isn't paid for. Well, actually, it is paid for. I mean, they they found a way to pay for this 26 billion, and states Where? are hurting right now. Well, they they cut 11.9 uh, billion out of food stamp programs, and they closed the loophole uh, where corporations were shipping their uh, profits overseas and not paying United States taxes. Okay, so Republicans' charges that it's not paid for is wrong. Oh, they're absolutely wrong. This is absolutely paid for. This is a the, the Democrat the, the Democratic majority in the Senate was very responsible, and it was what it took to get the two. Right. Republicans it's, come over and vote. It's another, Neil, it's, I'll put it in kind of short terms, it's another bail bailout paid for by the profits out of large corporations, right? The employers who are expecting to actually rescue this economy on the basis of profits, not handouts, well, which they is were what, paying, of course, playing hard the left has been the doing rules. from the get-go. They were playing hard and fast with the rules and taking their profits, and they were hiding them overseas. Right. I don't, so no, no, so no, so I don't so want to get right, into so that now, debate. I don't, seriously, I don't. But, Chris, I did want to ask you this. I mean, um... The public appetite for a lot of this spending, justified or no, is, is, is very thin here. And I'm, I'm wondering, by dragging everybody back next week to, to push this through, how does it incentivize a governor or a state legislature to continue the discipline we've been seeing out of a number of them to get their books in order when they know that there's manna coming from Washington. You know, there's a lot of pain going around in state government. Here in New York, it, our budget was 125 days late. It just got passed yesterday. Yeah, uh, but I know I'm going to get some money from well, Washington. Was I, a, I might not be so... There was a $9 billion dollar hole in that budget. One billion of it's going to be fixed by this process, which is very much needed here in New York. There are a lot of programs that are feeling a lot of pain, and this could go towards reducing our property taxes. So you don't think it's going to disincentivize tax. people to get... Absolutely not, because Francis, there's so much what, pain to what go about around. you? Well, Here's the thing. I just really think that they're hurrying into this. They're rushing into this. And I really think there needs to be a large consideration for the fact that they've got to get something through before November. And I think that they could really clean it up from the inside before throwing more money at it, regardless of whether or not it's paid for. We do have shortages everywhere that need to be considered. This bill will reduce yeah, I mean, deficits Neil, over the long the run. We have to, we have yeah, to acknowledge Neil, but, that. But, Really? The states need austerity, will. Neil. Go ahead, John. The states need austerity. Everyone is, is tightening their belts. And the states, yes, including the Medicare and the teacher unions and all the entitlements that we've come to you know, regard as sacrosanct, they need to be challenged as well. Everyone's tightening their belts. The states need to get in line. All right. Uh, well, I think it's going to become the law of the land shortly, so we shall see. Guys, thank you very much. The president.